Now there's a quote which says, family is not an important thing, it's everything. That is why Franklin County Children's Services and the City of Columbus hold a very special event every year to celebrate. Fam Jam is coming up this weekend. There is loads of entertainment and education, of course. And here to share more, we have Bruce Cadwallader. He's from FCCS and Bruce Black. He is a director of Neighborhood Pride with the city. So thank you both for being with me. How you doing? Yeah. All right, Bruce, let's first get into kind of the details. We want to let people know when and where and all the good stuff. So tell us about Fam Jam. Robin, this is our annual party down at the Columbus Commons this Saturday, August 4th, 10 to 2, rain or shine, bring your family, take the Coda bus, ride a bike, park in the garage for $5, but the event is free and open to the public. We'll have free food, entertainment, and about 90 community resource booths giving away stuff. And this really is kind of, I mentioned that entertainment meets education, right? I mean, there's a lot of resources for people. Right, we'll also have mental, uh, I mean, health screenings from Mount Carmel College of Nursing. Okay. We'll have a special this year, the National Urban League Conference is right down the street. First thousand people that come to Fam Jam will get a pass like this for a free backpack at the Urban League convention. We got that going on and we got entertainment on stage and it's a great chance for the city and county to work together on an event. Yeah, and that's the thing. This is, it's really a collaboration. It takes a lot of coordination. So Bruce, what makes it work? I guess, how do you guys seamlessly work together year after year? Um, it's partnershiping. <clears throat> Partnershiping coming together. Bruce and I have, have come up with this idea of pulling together these two operations. Um, the City of Columbus resources, the resources of Franklin County, you know, the support and the supports of the community. Going to a great location, the Columbus Commons, and, and bringing a lot more folks who say we just want to be a part of giving back to neighborhoods. All right, we know the mayor, a big part of this, obviously. Absolutely. So what does he hope this year for kind of the festival goers? What is he hoping they, they gain from this? Fun. We're going to start out with fun. He's hoping people come down there and they have a lot of fun enjoying themselves, getting a chance to see faces. Kids will probably see other students down there that they went to school with. They didn't get a chance to see all summer long, kind of get the ball warmed up again for the school season. Um, an opportunity, as Bruce said, to, to have a chance to talk to and get access to resources that are available citywide. Um, I spend a lot of time working with communities and there's so many things that Columbus can do to help people that folks just haven't tied into or don't have an idea that it's out there. So this event offer, offers that opportunity and then I'm, let's talk about the ice cream and the custard and the hot dogs and <laughs> the food and the entertainment <clears throat> on the stage and, and just, just the fun. It's just the fun. Just come out and have a good time. Just That's come have a good too. time. And I mentioned you're with Neighborhood Pride for the city. What exactly does that mean for somebody who doesn't realize, you know, we have a Neighborhood Pride department? The, the the department, well, the department is the Department of Neighborhoods. Um, Mayor Ginther came up with the idea when he when he took office. One of the big things he said that he was most concerned about is our neighborhoods, our neighborhoods, and our neighborhoods. He started a department called the Department of Neighborhoods, which is a collaboration of our 311 call center. I call them, they're like the heart of our program. They are the ones who people call to talk about concerns and issues. They in turn channel that information out. So to deal with the community portion, we have a group called the Neighborhood Liaisons and Pride Centers, and they're working in five sections of the city of Columbus. And those individuals know their neighborhoods, know their communities and the needs and troubles that they face. They push that back into the agencies that need help out and service it. They reach out and we bring in the New Americans programs, My Brother's Keeper, and then the two programs I oversee, which are the Neighborhood Pride Program, which goes to a neighborhood for about six weeks and works at a grassroots level to uplift that neighborhood. And then the Mobile City Hall, which is a 4G mobile hotspot that we drive any place in the city of Columbus, providing access to getting connected. I think it's cool. I, I feel like a lot of people don't realize just how much goes into making these events possible, to making sure our neighborhoods are connected and everybody's, you know, having a good time living here in Columbus. So we know it takes a lot of sponsors, though, Bruce, to be a free event. So who's helping us out this year? We started work on this back in March, and uh, we would like to thank CME Federal Credit Union, Mount Carmel College of Nursing, for instance. The Ohio Media School is going to be there broadcasting live the event for us. Uh, Sunny 95 is bringing a treat truck. We got Wits Frozen Custard. We got sponsors like Kroger, Target, Aldi. All these people help out with the expense of the issue. But like I said, it, it's a way for Franklin County families to get together for a day of fun. Yeah. And that's why we are involved. We want to strengthen, protect children by strengthening families. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. All right, again, Fam Jam, August 4th. Free to get in if you park at the main Commons garage. It's just five bucks. Mm -hmm. So come on down. You can check out more information, of course, about our city, about Franklin County Children's Services at their websites, which are both on the screen. Thank you both, Bruce, one and two. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>